I figured since I made fun of Black Ops 1 in my last commentary, and I ended up with a bag of flaming poop on my porch that was no doubt left by Thunder since he's done it about 37 times now. He does it every time I make fun of Black Ops 1 and I'm not sure he realizes I know that it's him, but uh, w whatever. I figured since I made fun of it in the last video I would use a game from the session Thunder and I had, and I I'll admit, it was a pretty good time. I'm not flip-flopping, I absolutely do not like Black Ops 1. I'm not saying it was a bad game, it just wasn't my style. I mean, it was the uh, the uh, beginning of the stealth era in Call of Duty where they took out stopping power and made Ghost really powerful. But uh, it's not a bad game. And uh, we had we had a pretty good time. I don't think we lost the whole night. We actually ran into some pretty decent players. A lot of, a lot of FAMAS, a lot of Silence FAMAS. But uh, also a lot of Camper Meets RPG clips that, uh, that I could potentially use. Uh, none, none in this video, really. I mean, that guy was camping, but... Uh, and I can't be fully mad at Black Ops 1. I mean, it did spawn my Camper Meets RPG series. There was so much camping going on in Black Ops 1. And I thought to myself, I need to provide these dorks with some justice and blow them up with an RPG. And uh, maybe they'll leave the game. And believe it or not, that actually works. Not all the time. A lot of times when I blow up a camper with an RPG, he leaves. And I guess that's that's kind of the whole point. He probably goes into another lobby and keeps camping anyway, but whatever. I can't be fully mad at Black Ops 1 because it did give me the Camper Meets RPG series. I remember when I first uploaded that, I had no intention of making it a series, but everybody wanted me to keep blowing up campers, and so I do. But uh, anyway, I started out pretty crappy in this gameplay. I got like two kills and then died four times in a row in about 15 seconds. And, and that's really why I don't really like Black Ops 1. And people say it's a rusher's game. I don't think it's a rusher's game at all. And I, I gave Thunder a good laugh with that one. But uh, whatever. I mean, Black Ops is an old game. I was actually really surprised to see how many people are still on Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3 and, and all the older Call of Duty games. You know, people say that Call of Duty is dying. And I'm not going to disagree. I, I definitely think it's on the decline. But... You know, people that say it's dying because people are sick of Call of Duty, I don't know if that's necessarily true, because you still see a lot of people playing the older games. And you can say that it's because of noobs. Well, there's noobs on the new games. But uh, it's crazy how many people are still... I think it shows that people still like Call of Duty. They just don't like the newer Call of Duties. But anyway, whatever. Also in my other commentary, I talked about how I'm strongly considering building a gaming PC over buying an Xbox One or a PS4. I didn't really explain myself. I don't think I'll get that much use out of an Xbox One or a PS4. And I feel like a PC not only can I use for gaming, but I can use for everyday life. And this laptop is about ready to explode. Uh, it can explode at any time. I have no idea how long this thing is going to last. I need a new PC anyway. Uh, it's really just going to depend on budget. Uh, what I'd like to be able to do, basically, while I'm still doing YouTube, is I'd like to be able to live stream. Uh, you know, that's probably the most common request I get. I stream once in a while, but, I mean, very rarely. And it's because my setup isn't very good, my recording equipment isn't very good, my mic isn't very good, my laptop can't handle streaming, it drops frames all the time. It's not my connection, it's like the memory usage maxes out of my laptop. So I'd, I'd like to be able to live stream. I'd like to be able to render videos quickly. I'd, I'd like to be able to try some PC games and you know be able to play PC games on some good settings. But uh, I'm definitely open to suggestions. And I know saying that is going to get me 1,000 different opinions because I've been looking up PC parts and it is crazy how many different things you can look at. It's it's crazy. I'm definitely I am full on nerd right now with the with, with my PC uh, studying. So if you have part suggestions. Uh, part, you know, build suggestions. If you just recently build one, you want to, you know, give me some suggestions. If you don't want to do it in the comments, feel free to send me a PM on YouTube. Um, whatever the case may be, I'm definitely open to suggestions. I, and I'm, I'll be honest, I'm having some fun with that. I never thought that I would, you know, build a PC. I'm just, you know, I'm not really, I don't know. I just, I never thought that I would actually do it. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it. And it's a lot of fun. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Later.